Hi there. So today, as I was listening to a sermon, um, the Lord put something on my heart and it was actually very interesting. So there is a controversy between Christians and Jews as to what the correct interpretation of Isaiah 53 is. Um, a Christian will tell you that Isaiah 53 is in reference to Jesus as the Messiah, and uh, most uh, Jewish people will tell you that it is in reference to the nation of Israel itself, like speaking corporately. And just anyway, uh, as I was listening to this sermon, just the Lord put something on my heart that I think is actually very interesting, and it is that there is actually a double interpretation to Isaiah 53, whereby it actually does reference both Jesus and the corporate nation of Israel together. And to help explain that, I'm going to go over a couple of verses. So Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5, Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And the connecting verse, which is in the New Testament, that is, that I'd never actually connected to this before tonight, so I was very excited to be able to see this. Um, well. Romans 11, verses 11 and 12, and also verse 15. So, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? This is uh, the Apostle Paul was writing of the nation of Israel. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. And verse 15. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? So in a sense, if one was to actually look at what, what happened with the nation of Israel historically, they were cast off and smitten and afflicted. But had they not been, had they not been uh, what's it called? It says it in another place in Romans 11. God has concluded all in unbelief so that he might have mercy upon all. If the nation of Israel, well, I'm sorry, I think it's uh, actually God has concluded them all in unbelief so that he might have mercy on all. But uh, the point being, if the nation of Israel had received their Messiah, the promises would never have come to the Gentiles. So in that, in the same sort of fashion where the Messiah comes to the Jews and he is rejected but in the same sense it is so that he might be bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace be upon him and that we could be healed by his stripes. In a similar sort of way the casting off of the nation of Israel or the the bruising of Israel is the reason or the fashion, the way that God has brought the promises of the covenant to the entire world. And in the same way that Jesus was raised from the dead after that time, it says again uh, in Romans 11 that so then all Israel shall be saved. So in the end, God will redeem his people Israel and return them to the glorious state that he promised in the same way as the Messiah was redeemed and taken back up into glory. So this was just an interesting and very beautiful thing that God showed me today. And I hope this was a blessing to somebody. God be with you. Have a good one.